Hey guys, so this is the first ever episode of Around the Table. This is your host or current host, Tails, aka Tails, aka Tails, aka Details, and those are all different kind types of tales. So if you do know me, you know that there's different reasons for my nickname, but this isn't just about me. It's about the podcast. So the reason for the podcast is I actually had this idea for maybe over 12 years. The only reason why I didn't start is that I wanted to do it as a group with my friends. But unfortunately, you know, everyone got more busy as life goes on. You get more responsibilities. So I figured sometimes you just have to start things by yourself. And if people want to join after, they'll do that. So after dealing with so many different things, I bought a new mic, mainly for streaming. And um, I'm just like, you know what? Let me start my podcast. It's a very high quality mic. And I have the free time a little bit now, a little bit more of a structure. Life's not as chaotic, even though it is 2020. Everyone's dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, I don't think I'm dealing with that much. So I've been kind of lucky this year, blessed. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I, I wanted to start this. So here's the start. So we picked around the table. Basically, my group of friends, we call ourselves the table. It's a thing back from high school. A lot of my friends, at least my mains, I've known since high school or before high school. Uh, short story or just the origins of that is that uh, at lunchtime, we used to sit around at the lunch table and we kind of discussed different topics, different things every day. Um, it got so crazy that people wouldn't sit beside us, mainly because we could have a normal conversation one time and then we'd be at each other's throats by <laughs> the end of uh, end of lunch. So people were bothered by how loud we were. Uh, sometimes people came to join the discussion. Uh, sometimes people tried to insult us because what we'd argue about, you know, we'd, we'd argue from what happened at math class to uh, why is the reason for this. And the thing that I love about my friends are that um, everyone has a different opinion and it's great because um, it keeps us sharp and at the same time, it keeps you it keeps the conversation interesting. So even though we're all strongly for certain things that we all agree with, we also have very strong oppositions as well. So um, it just goes to show that, especially in this age, you could have friends or people that you are around that don't necessarily agree with you, but uh, they could respect your opinion sometimes. So like, well, we're, we'll tear the shit out of each other when we have like a stupid opinion on something but at the same time it won't get to the point where it's like oh i'm never talking to you again uh i have a solid group of friends i think we've only had maybe two major issues but this is like friendships that are five plus years 10 plus years 15 plus years and sometimes even 20 plus years so um it's going to be a lot of different things i'm going to bring a number of people around the table right uh sometimes i'll be narrating in in the podcast maybe it'll be someone else it depends how it goes on i've already started to bring people to come talk with me and discuss things everyone knows or if you do know or if you don't know um i'm kind of a mysterious person some people say i'm a mysterious person i know a lot of people uh different walks of life and uh i'd like to share this kind of experience with other people and just talk about sometimes unique stuff sometimes nothing and uh, hopefully this kind of takes off it's not really for um, it to take off or anything I just want to kind of create a discussion in another place where people could hear other people's opinions um, and just kind of have that type of argument because like a lot of people think an argument's a bad thing it's just two people with opposing views talking about something that's what an argument is and uh, hopefully it could escalate de-escalate and you know we just have an overall fun time so um 
hopefully I'm trying to make like the first season of podcasts to be kind of motivational. So it'll be a bunch of random stuff. But at the end of the day, one core message in the whole audio is going to be uh, something positive or something motivating or even like a really nice story. So uh, who knows how the format will go. Right now, it's going to be pretty like this. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Maybe we'll add some music. Uh, maybe we'll get sponsors. Who knows? Uh, this is just the start. And, you know, in a year that's been so hectic, I think it's a good thing for people to actually start more when things are chaotic. Because when things are chaotic, you have to find a ground to make things orderly. And once you find that orderly thing, you could hold on to that and build on to uh, just become better and more focused so that you could organize the rest of the chaos around you. So um, a lot of people have different stories. Um, a lot of people don't realize that, hey, you know, when you start something, it's always the hardest part. Um, a lot of young younger people that I've ran into, they're giving up so easily sometimes i tell people some of my stories and they're like oh wow i can't believe you went through that i can't believe you're still like this or whatever it's just like it's your choice at the end of the day um i don't want to say that to be demeaning or anything but um you could always pull yourself out of a situation and it's up to you to surround yourself with the right people to help you get out of a bad spot if um, you do end up being in a bad spot, like for me, uh, my friends, they're hilarious, but <laughs> a lot of people can't deal with them. My friends like, can be ruthless, but they're very caring people at the same time. Um, we could see we like we know each other so well that we could see trouble coming uh, way ahead of time. Uh, I won't share any stories until it's a table X table kind of um, discussion. So. Uh, there will be different titles and everything. You guys tune in and you'll find out. Um, I'm going to be making a new YouTube channel, a uh, new SoundCloud, and maybe get this on Spotify. So if you are interested, I'll drop the information later. I'll leave it on my IG. Uh, my IG is Tales Adventures. So maybe I'll leave a link in the bio. Um, it's a public Instagram, so you don't have to follow me. But the follow would be awesome. Um, yeah, this year I have a lot of projects planned for the future. So, um, this is going to be one of the many projects that I am working on. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, you could DM me, you could add stuff to what you might want to hear. I already have a, like a list of things that I want to talk about, but a lot of this is organic. Like even this that I'm talking about right now, is pretty much off the top of the dome don't know what off the top of the dome means it's just like i started thinking and then i just kept talking about certain stuff too so i've been doing unboxing videos maybe i'll talk about uh, some of the things that i've unboxed uh maybe on the youtube channel I'll also put uh some of the unboxing videos uh and um yeah i think that's pretty much it this is gonna be the intro uh hope you guys do enjoy hopefully the audio is not too bad uh, I have to still figure out editing and everything, so a lot of the first episodes will be pretty raw. But uh, I want to keep it organic, and hopefully uh, it does keep traction. Hopefully I can stay focused on this. You know, I, I'm a person who has multiple ideas. I'm always thinking of something new to do, and uh, that's another reason why I didn't start this years ago, because if I did start this, maybe 12 years ago like I intended uh, I think it would have been pretty popular by now um, same thing with like streaming I started trying to stream back in 2010 when I was like just in TV and only like st livestream.com you know if I stayed focused on that where would I be now right would I still be even doing this would I be here right so many possibilities for your own future so um, there'll be like a lot of different messages um just genuine conversations and hopefully you know people do enjoy it you know the more traction it gets the more fulfilled i'll get or i feel but i'm the type of person where i'll do a lot of stuff i won't even upload it 
just to see where I was like years ago or where my train of thought was like two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, just to keep myself going and deal with what I'm doing. Because sometimes you do have those pockets in life where uh, you're unsure, uh, you don't know what you want to do next. And sometimes seeing something from the past kind of changes your opinion on everything or like uh that's one thing i actually like about facebook is that they have the memories thing so sometimes i'll see my memory from like 10 years ago or like five years ago and be like wow what was i really thinking to have such a thought like that it's it's wild so um yeah i think i'm gonna stop it here i'm gonna listen back to the audio hopefully it doesn't sound too bad I'm going to upload this anyway, so <laughs> you're hearing like the stuff dialogue and you're going to be like, wow, look at this guy. But either way, um, I hope you guys do tune in. Uh, we will be having some guests soon. Uh, I already lined up things with uh, four people potentially, so who knows if those will be like the second, third, fourth episode, or is it just going to be me talking about certain things? Um, like I said earlier, uh Instagram is Tales Adventures. Uh, if you want to send in any suggestions on what you want to hear, uh, what you want to discuss, even if you want to end up on an episode, uh, let me know so we could get that arranged. Uh, I'm trying to network. It's a big thing that I'm planning for 2021. Maybe I'll talk about my 2021 goals. I have a lot planned. Uh, you know, hopefully the coronavirus stuff dies down. If not, it's still going to be a pretty heavy year of brainstorming and getting things done. Um, fortunately, I've been able to work through the whole pandemic. I actually haven't had a day off of work since June, other than my vacation, which I'm currently on. So um, I understand the burnout for the people who are working. Um, I don't know how it feels to be stuck inside, to lose a job, you know, to be depending on government stuff so maybe i'll bring in someone else who's been like hella locked down or they lost their job or you know they had to deal with all that stuff um luckily where i work um it was it was able to be it's essential work basically so i've been able to work um but sometimes i think that i would have appreciated having the time off as well but you know um the grass is always greener on the other side so i'm gonna stop this uh miss a couple of phone calls actually <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna get back to those and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for listening